Hello guys, this is Ricky and I finally made the switch from Cura 15.04.06 to Cura 3.4. Um, a couple things that are game changers, this button right here, this print with OctoPrint. This makes it amazing. I don't have to export my G code and then open up the OctoPrint website. I can just get my model ready and then click print. The other thing that I like over the previous version of Cura is when I look at my layers, I can see the rafts and support materials, and I couldn't see that before. The last thing that I think is really amazing is this, this print at height. <clears throat> now, I went in and changed mine because I noticed that because I use rafts, it's easier for me to just find the layer that I want it to switch. And when I looked at it, for example, my first one that I have, and I, I, I adjusted the, uh, I don't know, Python script, I guess, to make it say pause after layer. And then, so my first one, pause after layer number four. Because the what I expected to happen was my raft is four layers. Maybe in the previous version of Cura, when I would say pause at height and I would calculate the four, then it wouldn't print the layer. It would go ahead and start right there. So what I did is I changed it. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's because of my layers, my raft has four layers. I don't know. Um, but on mine, I have it say, pause after layer four. So as soon as it gets done with layer four, that's completing the raft, then um, the head parks itself, and then I change. That's one thing I would like to see. I wish that the animation of this would show the movement of the head being parked over here and it doesn't i don't know if that's a bug or it's not supposed to do that um but it it didn't show that one right there so that's i would love for that to work um so what i did was i went to program files cura plugins post-processing plugins and then i opened up this one i'll just open up mine i opened it with wordpad And all I had to change was um, I gave it its same name. I don't even know Python. Uh, I changed this to match the name. And then I changed what it shows up as in Cura. And then I went in and I made a lot of default values zero because I don't really change anything. It still parks at 190 and 190, but all these other ones, retraction, I made all of these temperatures zero. Um, especially this one, this standby temperature, I think this is huge um, to be able to not have to babysit the print. And I know that I can come in later and then change it whenever um, I'm ready. So after I did all this, I saved it back in there. And all I did is I found every place, like right here, in the model where this line goes and it looks like it does another prism-like thing at, at after layer 60. So after about every 60 layers, I went in and made a pause after layer. So the first one is it prints the raft just for grins, and then I wanted it to change. Then it prints the first layer, and then after layer 59, I wanted it to start on layer 60, it changes. And then, same thing, 120, take away one, and then 180, take away one. Now, the first time I printed it, it the layers kind of stuck, but I think I needed to do this one, this redo layer. So I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to have it redo that one layer, and I'm going to reprint it. And I'm going to see how it goes this time. Hi, this is Ricky. And I mentioned earlier 
that the first time that I printed this, I did not redo any of the layers. So this one right here says redo a number of previous layers after a pause to increase adhesion. Well, I don't want to do the first layer because this is just my raft. And if I were to redo that layer, let me prepare it. If I were to redo layer number th four, then it would redo the whole bottom raft layer. And that's not what I want. I just want it to start here. So the first one, I didn't have any problems with adhesion from the raft to this. So on mine, when I go in here, I don't want it to redo the first layer just on this one. I'm printing in vase mode, but the second layer, I want it to redo one of them. And the third layer, third color change, I mean, I want it to do redo the layer. And the same thing with the last one. So hopefully this helps with adhesion. Maybe it'll be watertight because the first one I did is not. All right, the fourth layer of the raft is just about finished. So as soon as it does, the head is going to park over here on the right hand side. Down here, it's not going to say printing anymore. It's going to be paused and extruder number one is going to go down to zero. And I need to click resume after I have made my filament change. So now I'm going to go change the filament. Okay, I've changed the filament out from white to purple and I have manually pushed out all of the excess white filament out of the extruder. So now I'm going to click resume and instead of being 200, now it says 210 and as soon as the extruder number one reaches 210, it's going to resume the print. But now you can see right here, it's still oozing some uh, purple filament. So I'm going to go make sure that I fix that. All right, it looks like we're getting close to the second filament change. So it says it lost connection with the printer and then it parks the head because it's paused and then the extruder number one goes down to zero so I can come back whenever to change it but I'm going to change it right now just like before I up the extruder temperature to 199 this time I manually pulled out the purple filament I manually put in the green filament and pushed it out until all of the purple filament was gone from the extruder now I'm going to click resume Extruder number one now goes up to 210, and as soon as it reaches that, it's going to print the last layer again, hopefully, and I'll have better adhesion this time. All right, the green layer looks like it is finishing up nicely, and I think the reprinting the previous layer is a huge benefit. So when this pause at layer height or pause at the layer when this finishes up I will change out the green filament with the gold filament just like before I click resume when it's ready to go the heat goes down to zero and I go change the filament I've changed out the green filament to the gold and now I'm going to click resume. The extruder is going to get to 210. And as soon as the extruder reaches that temperature, it will begin to print the third color or the fourth color change, third color change. Okay, the gold layer is finishing up. And as soon as it's done, again, it's going to park the head it's going to reduce extruder number one's temperature to zero and I will go change the filament.
you'll notice on mine right before it does its move it says it lost connection with the printer then it moves the head out of the way extruder temperature goes down to zero and the print is paused okay i've clicked resume the extruder number one is heating up to 210 now let's see if it does the weird thing where it's printing at ridiculously fast speeds for my printer It looks like it is printing ridiculously fast. I'm actually surprised how well it's doing. I wonder why it's printing so fast and now it's going to the regular speed. So maybe that's a bug? I'll uh, post the video and then maybe you guys can chime in.